I'm here in Dunedin on the Dunedin Harbour. Beautiful place and apparently you can see lots of wildlife here. Seals, birds, or sharks. Hey, I wonder if there are sharks in the waters here, right beside me in the harbour. I'd love to see a shark up close. Take a good look at one. But how do you attract a shark's attention? By swimming in the sea, and if, if you see a shark, it might see you. Um, just swimming past it, and um, then the shark would see you, and then um, it would um, try and swim after you. Or it being friendly, it might pay attention. Yeah, probably stand right in front of it and wave your hands. By being a shark as well. By swimming in its way getting some food and showing the food to it. Well, um, most people say that if you're, if you're on a boogie board with flippers, they think you're a turtle. Go close to it and swim around it. By kicking your legs around, because it might think you're a seal. By taking its tail off. Give it food and then tease it. Blood, fish, dead fish. Go up to it some meat and not get your attention, it'll probably try to bite you. Okay. What do you think would be the best way to attract a shark's attention? Why no? I could splash about in the water. That would get a shark's attention. Oh, but it might scare them off as well. Oh, I could call out. I could call, hey shark, I'm a big juicy fish, can't catch me. Oh, there's a thought. Food. Everybody likes food, and I've got plenty of tasty bites right here. Not me. My lunchbox. I've got plenty of food in here that might just attract a shark's attention. A packed lunch with raisins, and everybody loves raisins, right? Well, how about a crisp, juicy apple? <laughs> Great for cleaning a shark's teeth. Well, that's the food sorted out. I just need to find a way to get myself from here to there. Look what I found. A boat. It's exactly what I need. Come and meet the skipper. This is Gavin. Hi. Now, Gavin, how do you attract a shark? Well, it all depends on what you give them to eat, Susie. That's the most important thing. Okay, give them something good to eat. They're always looking for things to eat. Great. Okay. Well, we're off to find some sharks, and I'm sure we're going to find heaps. They won't be able to resist my homemade peanut butter sandwich bait. Mm -mm. What sort of bait? So Gavin and I set off to get our shark's attention. We're well out on the harbour now, but so far I haven't seen any sharks. No luck with my sandwich bait. But an apple core might be tempting. Sharks don't get a treat like this very often. I don't think Gavin thinks I have the right bait, but maybe, just maybe, sharks like apples. Hi Seal, having a sunbathe? These birds are Stewart Island shags. They nest on barren, sloping rocks. There's some more New Zealand wildlife we can check out while we're here. We're pretty close to the rocks. Look closely, I think I've spotted something. Well, we've met some of the wildlife of Otago Harbour, but we still haven't seen those sharks. Gavin seemed to know exactly where he was going. Well, that apple core was no good. So this time, I've got some fish. Let's see if they like this. Here, shark, 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 shark. Trying to pull it is very strong. Oh no, don't take the whole thing. If he gets his teeth, oh, 
Elf. Give you if he gets his teeth on this fishing line, he's going to be able to bite straight through it and we'll lose the whole fish and he'll disappear. The whole idea is just to let him get a little bit, a little nibble. <laughs> wow! <laughs> well, he got took the best bits. <laughs> Will he still come after this? Oh, I'll try and I'll just get something else in the not my on that. Well, now I know how to attract a shark. Use fish. Well, Gavin, you sure do know how to attract the shark. You focus on their noses. They've got such a keen sense of smell. So what is it about that piece of fish that's going to attract the shark? It doesn't look that good. No, it doesn't look that good to us, but uh, it puts up a good scent in the water, and that's, um, and that's what the sharks can detect in the wee bit of blood that comes out of it. And things and it also puts up a, a slight bit of oil as well, so that'll sort of travel quite, quite a long way in the water. So sharks have a pretty keen sense of smell. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they'll smell. They say they'll smell it equivalent to about a teaspoon of blood in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. They can smell it that diluted. So, wow. Got a good sense of smell. Whereabouts is their nose? They don't have like noses like we do, do they? No, they have. Um, they have pores um, on the on their on their snout, which they detect electrical currents, so they can detect wounded fish and things like that. And then they just have a lateral line, like most fish as well, which they use for navigation and things. But um, yeah, and their eyesight's better than what people think as well, so they, they can see quite a bit as well. When you say pores, are you talking about like the pores, the little holes that we have in our skin? Yeah, basically, you'll see if we got one close enough up on the camera, you would have seen some small dark holes with just little pores on their nose. Got to be quite close to see them, but they have got a nose too, they can smell as well. So. Um, but the pores is what they use a lot when they get close in. So those little dark holes aren't blackheads then, they just... No, not blackheads, no. <laughs> Sharks do attack people sometimes. Well, one theory is that people on surfboards look a lot like seals to great white sharks. And then again, people attack sharks too. Sometimes for food, but sometimes out of fear and prejudice. And when you think that 10 to 15 people are killed by sharks a year, and over 100 million sharks are killed by people per year, who's got the most to fear? When you take a close look at sharks and learn about them, you'll find them beautiful and interesting animals. You just don't go swimming with them. Hey, well, if these sharks don't want my lunch, I think I'm going to eat it. I'll see you again soon. Take a good look at one. Hmm, I can't remember what comes next. Sharks attention, oh, okay. <laughs> Sharks do attack people. Well, one theory is that people look like surfboards. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Mum and Dad, thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.